Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Sunshine Haze Co. Happy New Year, happy 2020, happy new decade, all that good stuff. Um, this video is for the Aquarians, Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising. So before I get started, if you feel like what I'm saying doesn't resonate with you, go on and pick out your moon and or rising sign, which I do have linked down below. Check that video out. Um, this is not your typical new moon or, you know, monthly spread. This is actually for 2020. So going to be looking at the energy coming in for you or the energy that, you know, you'll be working with throughout the year. With the tarot, we'll be looking at uh, your finances and career love and relationships, and also your personal growth as far as 2020 is concerned. And as always, a little staple in my readings, um, a soul message, something extra for you to take away with you from the spread, okay? I need some chapstick, guys. <laughs> Hold on one second. Wait, let's not do this. We're not, I'm not even going to do this to y'all or to myself. I know how it goes. I'll get like halfway through the video, and then I'll be like, oh my gosh, I can't talk. My lips are cracking. <laughs> my tongue is dry <laughs> okay so let's just go on and um jump right into it again this is for january 1st through the end of december of 2020 first card that you've got coming up in your spread is in the position of the energy coming in for you during the year and you've got fire and first and foremost i want to talk about the numerology a little bit when i pulled your cards the first thing i said was well you got hella sevens <laughs> i was like you got a lot of sevens in your spread and seven is associated with divinity and philosophy and truth so i feel like 2020 for you aquarius this is aquarians um especially because you guys are air i feel like there's going to be a sense of clarity that comes in this year um Feel like this is going to be a year of realizations and epiphanies for you um but we'll get a little bit further into that when i go into those cards um so with that seven energy you've also got 27 here on this fire card and 27 breaks down into nine which is all about closing chapters ending cycles and you know ascending into the next space the next place the next energy fire um and, you know, we usually associate fire with action, with movement, but I also associate fire with cleansing and healing. Um, if you think about it in the phoenix aspect, as far as, you know, the little bird that, you know, bursts itself into flames and can regenerate from its ashes. I feel like as far as I said with that energy of clarity and, you know, realizations and epiphanies, it's going to be, you're going to be coming into that by kind of going through these rings of fire throughout the year. Um overall i think this is going to be a year of movement for you and the movement is what's going to get you to that clarity but generally speaking this fire energy this fire card here as we like i said as we know is associated with movement is associated with drive it's associated with you know taking action um and with that nine energy and that seven energy i do pick up on this message of aquarius you're going to be making a lot of moves this year towards okay chelsea towards what it is that you really want to do or be doing what you really want to do during this year and really in the mix <laughs> you know taking action um i've i uh i feel like this is going to be a passion project year for a lot of you aquarians um and I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit more once we get into the tarot but I, I do get the sense of passion projects for you which means that this is going to be a year it's going to be a very fun year for you it's going to be a very busy year for you i do feel like you know how we say let's hit the ground running like you guys are running you're running right now this is and i don't know if this is technically your victory lap <laughs> because you're just running right now um fire right now is all about the action i don't think that the end goal is necessarily in sight at the moment but that's okay because life will not lead you to where you're not supposed to be okay um now as far as i was talking about that phoenix aspect that healing energy um taking action aquarius uh does come with being able to do so by way of learning the lessons from prior situations or picking up certain energies that you need to progress forward right if there are things that you still need to work out and work through during this year it's going to come to a point to where you do so in the fire and i don't want you to be alarmed when i say that 
Um, I really just mean that, you know, you're going to be actively healing and actively working through things in order to move forward. Like I said, in order to take action and run that lap to wherever it is that you need to be. So as things come up, especially if they're things associated with your past or things associated with old or bad habits, so to speak, I think it's very important for you to tap into that air and, you know, get a grip and say, okay, I understand what this is about. And then proceed with that fire energy and, you know, burn through it, burn it up, clear out the space. When we when we use fire as a cleansing element, we burn it up, right? And that's the action, that's taking the action, that's doing the work. And when something is burned up, it leaves these ashes. So all that's really left for you to do is clear out these ashes, which it shouldn't be too hard. So, you know, you've got a lot of shit to do this year, Aquarius, but you've also got a few more things to work on probably from the last couple of years that you do need to burn up so to speak so that you can again progress forward okay we're gonna take a water break one second that's the thing about doing these videos when I first wake up I sound for a frog I sound like I sound for a frog I sound like a frog for at least like an hour and a half and we're like somewhere around the 45 minute mark so bear with me y'all um, okay, let's get into your tarot cards. The first card that you've got coming up in your spread, well, not the first card, but the first tarot card you've got coming up in your spread, Aquarius, is La Seren. And this is the Congo Seven. So the Seven of Water, Seven of Cups, right? And naturally in, naturally in traditional tarot, I associate the Seven of Cups with this energy of like confusion of, you know, things kind of being turned upside down, but seeming one way, not necessarily being that way. Um... So just generally speaking, as far as your finances and career goes, I feel like there might be a little bit of confusion for you here in this in this field. And I want to say I want to speak on career first. So Aquarius, if you have been doing something for a while or you have been just doing something and you're not necessarily sure if this is what you want to do, or if this is how you want to be doing it. Um, understand that that fire energy is going to come through so that you can burn up whatever needs to be burned up so that you can, you know, tap into whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing. In this New Orleans Voodoo Tarot deck, this uh, card, um, it really resonates with this energy of understanding and working with your emotions and the physical, right? comes with this energy of using your artistic and your creative gifts, right? This is a this is a water card. So as far as your your money and your finances goes, what I said, and I said this a little bit earlier, I said this is going to be a busy year for you and you're going to be doing a lot of what it is that you want to do. When we talk about, when we put cups, when we pair cups with these money or financial spreads, or when I pair cups, I said when we do it, me and all my guides and my angels and shit, when, when I read financial spreads or when I do, you know, money readings or, or you know, entrepreneurial readings or business spreads um, and I get cup cards in regards to the finances, it brings in this energy of, okay, you are putting passionate energy into whatever it is, that it is that you're doing. Also, it could also mean that you are enjoying whatever it is that you're doing. When you put good energy into something, that's what comes back. So when you like what you do, when you actually enjoy what you do, what are you putting into it? You're putting in good, positive energy, right? So that's when it turns out to be abundant. That's when it turns out to be successful. That's when it turns out to bring in all this revenue. So during this year, Aquarius, and I, I do feel like there's going to be a shift for you because of the fire and having to burn up old habits and old patterns and old thoughts and old situations or whatever, old cords, um, with this water and this fire. So you burn it up, you're washing it away. And as you wash away the ashes, you come into this clarity, you come into this sense of, and again, this is a seven card. So you're coming into this truth of understanding, okay, this is what I like doing. This is how I like doing it. And because you have that air energy, y'all resonate with the energy of intellect. Because you have that, you come into this position of, okay, this is how I can make money doing what I like to do. This is how I can do this so that it's not a job, so that it works for me, it works with my schedule, um, and so that I am bringing in the revenue that I need to bring in, right? Um, so for a lot of you Aquarians, I do get the sense of either becoming a little bit more independent in your finances um, as you come into these realizations. I also get the sense of some of you maybe starting your own businesses or putting more energy into businesses that you have already started. Um, this is definitely a you year, which is cool. I like it. It's, a, it's the turn of the decade, so why not have it be about ourselves, right? So 
La Seren in the position of money and finances for you brings in this energy of truth and also brings in this energy of passion so that you can do what it is that you want to do during this year. And I believe that the way that we go through this year is going to lay the foundation for how we work out the next decade. So whatever you find yourself doing in this year, Aquarius, especially the shit that you really enjoy, understand that that's going to be a way of life for you over these next 10 years, which is, I would shoot, hey, why not live your best life, right? I always say that. Um, also, not also, okay, next, <laughs> next card in your spread. You've got another seven card here. And for those of y'all that have questions or anything, I shuffle in between readings off camera. I believe that uh, shuffling is the time that I do my prayers and my protections for my cards and I ask for you know insight and energies on these spreads so I believe I consider that to be very personal so I shuffle off camera but I do be shuffling my cards you got two seven cards here um so when it comes out like that it's like okay the seven energy you're really resonating with philosophy that air you're going to be tapping into that coming into your own truth coming into your own beliefs coming into your own systems um also like I said seven is associated with truth so you're coming into you know, understanding the way things work and accepting them for that and actually being able to, you know, physically manifest your intentions, like I said, by way of understanding what's really good. So you got another seven card here. This is the Rada seven. This is the seven of air in this spread. And um, you've got Urzuli, La, uh, I was gonna say La Flambeau. You've got Urzuli, Freda da Homie. I, um, I pull that seven of wands a lot from this deck for myself. So <laughs> that was habit. <laughs> Um, this is a transmutation card, and this is the position of your love in your relationships. And I'm going to read it for the singles and for the couples before I even get into this part. Um, I keep my readings very real. I do not like to sugarcoat my readings. I do not like to make shit up to make it sound better. Um, I believe by doing so is how you really have people out here fucked up and fucked off, right? So I keep it very real. This card, it's going to be a very real message coming through with this one. If you are not into that, just go on and find another video now. If you are into that, thank you for rocking with me. Here we go. Um, so for my singles, you've got Urzuli Freda da Homie in the position of your love and your relationships. This is an independent card. This is a seven card. Um, and if you know anything about, uh, if you, well, if you have had one of my readings, traditionally the Seven of uh, Swords, I read it as a card where somebody is holding on to something very dear to them or something that they don't want people to know or, or that they're hiding, not necessarily hiding or that they're not, they're not showing everything that they can to the world or everything that they can to the situation or whatever. And this is not always a bad thing, but this is really guarding guarding either your heart, guarding either, you know, your beliefs, guarding something close to you and not wanting it to change, holding it very close to you, right? With this deck, this New Orleans Voodoo Tarot deck, this card comes in with this energy of having these unrealistic dreams and goals that you hold very close to you. Um, and this being in the position of love and romance for my singles. Aquarius, you guys are so creative and so innovative and you lend that energy to everything that you do and everything that you think. Also, so far as your love and your relationships, so if you're single, you might be in this position to where you're like, okay, I've gone through this, I've dealt with that, I've done this, I've done that, I want this, I want this, I feel like I deserve this, I feel like I deserve this, this should be a part of my relationships. Aquarius, you guys think very big, and this is not to say that that is a bad thing, but there is a fine line between, you know, what is feasibly possible and what is logical and what is, you know, fantasy. So, you know, and I do say you can, you can manifest these things, these qualities about your partner, but also at the same time, you've got to be realistic. So this card coming up here does come in with this energy of saying, you know, during this year, Aquarius, I pick up on the sense that, you know, you'll be dating, you'll be mixing and mingling, right? Um, but some of your situations are going to be kind of eye-opening for you to where you're like, I wanted this, or I thought this would have looked good, but for real, this is not really where it's at. This is not what I like. Um, this is a card that carries this energy of, um, learning from your failures. I don't even like to say the word failure, but, you know, going through the motions and things not working out so that you can learn from them. If you look at the imagery on this card, oh. Sorry, I gotta keep it in front of the light. <laughs> if you look at the Im imagery on this card, the girl's looking in, she's in front of a mirror. She's looking in another mirror 
and her tears are she's she's dolled up right but her tears are forming this river and she's not even aware that these things are happening beneath her right so for you guys i think it's important for you to take a look in the mirror during this year in 2020 um reflect upon yourself what you you know you you call what you put out why are you putting out this overzealous energy in regards to your relationships what are you overcompensating for why do you want these crazy wild you know things or you know um back in the day if y'all watch i think it was on vh1 y'all remember chili from tlc she had a show for her her people and i used to be like why are people ragging on chili so much um you know people like what they like they want what they want but you know as i got older and i remember like watching clips of it i'm like yeah you know chili was tripping <laughs> like she had a lot of fucking she had a lot of roles for the type of man that she wanted and that's why she didn't that show wasn't successful for her so you know you kind of got to put yourself into that place and it's like right, do you have a chili checklist for your partner or the partner that you want to call to you and if you do it might be time to do away with that and look in the mirror and say why do you have this checklist is this checklist for your partner or is this checklist for you are you putting out what you want to call to you are you bringing in what you're putting out what are you putting out i think this should be a very reflective again an eye opening and you know a year to where you once you figure these things out and you have these epiphanies and realizations you burn that energy up so that you stop calling weird and wild shit to you because I, I feel like when i said this is going to be a year of you dating some of you aquarians were like oh my gosh like this, nobody's gonna settle down like i gotta keep doing this weird shit yeah you gotta keep doing the weird shit for a little bit but that's because there's some things that you gotta learn about yourself aquarius okay now for my coupled Aquarians or Aquarians and partnerships I don't know for you relationship people <laughs> this is your message and again I said I keep it very real so Erzuli Freda the homie in this position here does come in with a message that you know if you're in a relationship right now Aquarius I would not be surprised if you were not in that relationship by the time that the end of the year comes around um and I'm a kick game to you and it's it's gonna be some real tough love. The reason being is more likely you than it is your partner. Um, this is a card, as I mentioned with the singles of, you know, coming into this clarity by way of learning from your failures. Again, I don't like to say failure, but by way of going through the motions, by way of doing certain things in your relationships or putting in certain energies or having certain conversations, you know, this is a time in which you again like the singles you have to learn about yourself and in learning about yourself you might learn that you're not actually mentally or physically or or you know um spiritually capable of returning the type of love that you wish to receive at this time um on a little bit to go a little bit more into that some of you aquarians might have to this is a, a air card and so air is about communication the rata cards are communication understanding perspective you may have to have some tough conversations with your partner this year and those tough conversations may lead way to you learning some things about yourself that you may not necessarily like or rock with or that you may be like "Ooh, that's not that's not a quality that i want to be carrying around or putting out um again as I was mentioning the imagery on this card, this girl, she's looking in a mirror. She's in front of a mirror. She's completely disregarding the mirror. Um, and as far as the couples are concerned, I kind of look at that as your partner is supposed to be a reflection of you. So I kind of see in this position, this mirror as the partner, but she's holding a mirror up to herself because she has to figure some things out about herself before she's able to even look back at her partner because this is the partner that she wants. Is this truly the type of person that she wants to be with? Is this really the type of energy that she wants to be in? She's not sure right now, so she's trying to figure it out for herself. And if you notice, she's crying. So she's releasing. She's like, yeah, some of this shit is not working, and it's it's really causing this little river. And if you think about water, although this is an air card, the water, the currents carry you to where you need to be. So as you release Aquarius, you'll be led to where you need to be. You'll be led to the next partner that you're supposed to deal with. But I feel like the partners, shit, the partnerships that you're in right now, Aquarius, may be karmic for some of you and that is for you to learn about yourself um yes for you to lend some energy to your partner for them to learn some things about you but i feel like this partnership is really for you aquarius and it's for you to learn certain things about yourself certain things about the way that you move and certain things about the way that you think and what you need to release and you know what sucks some people just are 
you know, there to help us learn and to help us grow. And they're not meant to be long term. It is what it is, you know, whatever. Keep it pushing and charge it to the game. But just understand that you may be going through those motions during this year. And again, with this, the general message, as I was saying, as I read this card with holding something close to you and not wanting to let it go, but you have to tap into that air and, and that clarity and, and, you know, burn up what needs to be burned up, clear out the ashes, ride the waves into wherever you're supposed to be next. Okay. So yeah, let's go on into the next card. Like I said, I like to keep it real. I'm sorry if, you know, some of you guys are like, damn, really? <laughs> And you know, it's it's general. Also, don't ever give all your power to a reading. This is just the energy that I'm reading for you during this year. But keep in mind that free will is is a, is a very real thing and life is ever changing. So, you know, you never know. Um, okay, last tarot card in your spread is in the position of personal growth for you. And I like this card. You've got the market here. This is the Wheel of Fortune in traditional tarot. So this is all about cycles and growing, going through the motion. Going through the motions. But you know what? On that note, we're going to take a, another sit break. One second. Okay. I always wonder, I'm like, can they hear me swallowing? Can they hear me like smacking? Because I'm not in to asm well i like the little soap cutting videos but i'm not into like mukbang asmr type videos i am sorry if i offended any of you but that is just not my seas i cannot get with it i cannot hate i cannot stand hearing people chew or smack their food i be wanting to slap people like yo are you a cow stop it but i know a lot of people are into that and I'm cute. Like, why? Why are you into that? I'm curious. I really want to know if you're an Aquarius because y'all Aquarius is into a lot of wild things. If you are into like mukbang videos and like ASMR, drop a comment and tell me why. Like, I just, I want to know. I'm, I'm very curious. I was a psychology minor. Like, I want to know how you think. I want to know why that <laughs> intrigues you. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> I digress. Back to your reading. Um, this is the card of cycles, further confirming what I was saying about these relationships and coming into these things and releasing the things you need to release. And also, you know, coming into these cycles of doing what it is that you really want to do. The market card um, in New Orleans culture, the market is where, you know, everybody gathers, you go and get what you need, you go and give what other people need, you socialize, you know, you spend a little bit of money, you might make a little bit of money, you know, on the side, whatever. Um, but you come here for a good time, not necessarily a long time, but when you come here, you don't go home the way you came. Okay. So you got the market card here and your personal growth card. So you are going through the motions this year and it's because your cycles are coming in with the will of fortune. It's inevitable. So whether or not you were feeling what I said about this, this love card here, well, guess what? you're not going to be able to avoid it whether or not you're like oh no i want to make a little bit more money before i start doing what i want to do guess what you're gonna make your money but you're also going to be doing what you want to do okay um things coming in for you things are changing and this is as i was saying with this fire card you have this energy of action this is a card of taking action to initiate and progress forward with your change okay um this is also a card when i say action of action and consequence so i think it's important for you guys to remember aquarius that you have to actively and posit positively intend the type of change that you want to see so that it can physically manifest for you. So as you go through these motions, don't just let life take you on as well. Don't just be like, you know, <laughs> and I'm laughing because I could so imagine like this being such an Aquarius thing. Like don't just, you know, grab onto the spokes and let the wheel just like toss you all over the place. Like, you know, you're, you're going with the wheel, but you need to, you know, be on the path you need to make sure that you're not just tossed in the wind okay so with the market card here as you make these changes do them consciously as you come into this la seren energy you want to say okay this is what i like doing this is what i want to do this is how i want to do it this is what i'm going to make as you come into this urzuli freda the homie energy you're going to say okay this is what i need to release this is what i need to let go of this is what is really real this is who i am this is what i want and then you're going to come into that energy. So as everything transpires for you over 2020, understand that all changes are transpiring for a reason. Everything is divinely timed. Nothing happens when it should. Nothing happens how it shouldn't. Okay, everything happens for a reason, when it should, how it should, and as it should. 
So for you guys, Aquarius, like I said, it's going to be a busy year and it's because you are actually, this is your change year. This is the, the year of the transformation for you. You are coming into, you know, and I was saying this was, the, this is a collective energy, but a little bit more so for a lot more of, well, not a lot more, but a little bit more so for some of the signs. Um, You know, we had the Leo Aquarius eclipse axis before we had the Cancer Capricorn. So about a year and a half ago, we were on your eclipse axis. So you are still in the beginning phases of your change coming into 2020. This is where you start to solidify and this is where you start to really get into what type of life you're about to be living. Okay, Aquarius? So positive things coming in for you, a lot of self self-work this year I was gonna say self-improvement probably some self-improvement but I don't want you guys to think that this year is all about like oh my gosh I need to do better because that's not necessarily what it is it's just you need to learn and understand a little bit more about yourself in order to do better if that makes sense okay all right y'all last card in your spread is in the position of your soul message and you've got turquoise here and the message on this card is awaken your empathy but I'm actually going to read this intuitively as you guys know I am an intu intuitive tarot reader um going to read this with the numerology and the message that I got as far as the color goes so are you surprised 34 what that breaks down into seven so a lot more of this truth and divinity and philosophy philosophy <laughs> philosophical energy coming in for you guys um for yourselves turquoise is a blue um so it's associated with your throat chakra but I associate turquoise more with your thymus chakra. If you don't know what your thymus chakra is, that's the chakra located in between your heart and your throat. And when we talk about the energies or the work that needs to be done within the thymus region, that's all about emotional healing and communicating the things that you need to release and understanding the things that need to be released that way heavy on your heart. So for you guys, 2020, as it's a busy year, as you are coming into these energies of the self, you are going to be releasing. You are going to be understanding what's being released and you're going to be healing. I associate turquoise with water. So you've got fire here, burn it up, wash it away and gain some clarity with that water energy. Um, what I would say for you guys during this year is to work with throat chakra, thymus chakra and heart chakra stones. And what you will find is that most of those stones resonate with all three of the energies that I list. But specifically, you can use some turquoise um chrysocolla chrysoprase aquamarine is good amazonite is good to use and then also for cleansing purposes any clear stone um i just got some ice calcite i've only meditated with it once but i think i want to i don't know but I, um, any clear stone to help clear out those energies so you're gonna you guys need to be doing primarily thym thymal thymus chakra work um and also secondarily thir third third <laughs> secondarily throat chakra work well actually on my body I touched my heart so I'm gonna take that back you need to be doing thymus chakra work secondarily heart chakra work and then thirdly you can be doing throat chakra work so that you are understanding and able to communicate these changes that you're going through not only to other people but to yourself as well if that makes sense okay um do I have any of those stones down here I don't but you know take notes you can also look you can also look it up google is hella free all the stones are on there <laughs> not for free but the information most of it is free okay guys that is your your reading um coming into some clarity in regards to the self really understanding yourself and understanding the type of person you want to be in the type of life that you want to be living throughout 2020 and laying the foundation for the decade okay um if you have any questions or comments drop them down below if you're into asmr or mukbang please help me understand drop that down below <laughs> Um, if you like your own reading, feel free to book one with me. I've got that link down in the, in the description box. I talked a lot about setting the foundation for 2020 and the decade. So I do have a pick a card spread up. Um, that's linked down there too. Thank you guys for getting me to 1k. Thanks for rocking with me to celebrate that. I will have a video going up in a couple of weeks. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed and hit the bell so that you can know when I put that up if you're interested in participating. Um... And I think that's it for my shameless plugs. You know, watch the moon videos, the eclipse videos, all of that good stuff. Thank you guys. Wishing you nothing but peace and happiness and blessings and abundance for 2020 and the years to come. And I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.